TJ AFK here, uh, back with another video for Comfy UI. Uh, today we're going to look at image and video segmentation and detection. Uh, this used to be more referred to as computer vision. Uh, what we will do is put identifying boxes around objects, uh, known objects that is. There are custom data sets, but today we will stick to the YOLO base models. Uh, those are you only look once. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, we're going to look at a few of the different nodes that uh, are custom for Comfy UI. Uh, you should know how to install those with the manager here, custom nodes. You can search uh, for this purpose, just for YOLO, anything that takes these models. You can also check Ultralytics or um, uh, SEG, S-E-G, segmentation. Things like that. Uh, we've got a few of these installed. One of them is pretty dirty, which is just fine. And uh, one of them is claiming to be pretty full featured, but some of the features don't quite work right. I'm sure they'll get fixed here. But let's uh, run a small demo. This is a slightly cluttered room. We've got a couple laptops here, a bottle, a TV, clocks. Let's see what we can find. Uh, in the base yellow models, there are 79 different objects that you can detect. Uh, the custom models can do some different things. Um, there are models for things specifically like your hands or fingernails, uh, stuff like that, more for video editing. But we will focus on what's in the base model. So we can detect a person, bicycle, car, plane, stop sign, all sorts of stuff. Let's populate a few of these previews, see what we come up with. So this model right here, that's the larger photo, this is a pretty down and dirty implementation of just loading the model and detect everything on the same screen. Works pretty good. We found a chair with really good confidence. We found two parts of a clock. It did correctly identify that, but it's, it is one object. It did not get this clock over here. Uh, one of the other detection models does get it, and I didn't see any of them get this digital clock. Uh, everybody correctly identified the TV. Uh, that book is not a book. It's actually a uh, Blue Linksys router, a WRT54G. <laughs> Uh, that is 32% confidence, so it's just above threshold, which I think in this node is 25%. Uh, we did identify a laptop, another laptop, a keyboard, and another keyboard, which is accurate. Now, the bottom one here, it's actually picking up a, um, a audio device, a DJ equipment as a keyboard, which it does have keys, and that could be categorized as a keyboard. But if we go to a slightly more complicated model, we've got YOLO V8 model detect and model segmentation. The differences between these is the models that you can feed them. Both of them will take the segmentation models, but only the detect node will take the non-segmentation models, so the ones that don't have a SEG at the end. Um, if we go for the Nano, this is only six and a quarter meg model. That's pretty quick. If we run it, it will fail on the um, segmentation node because it's not a segmentation model. Um, what you'll see as a visual difference is when this spits out the image, it does not colorize the object itself. It just puts the bounding box around it whereas the segmentation model does actually colorize the pieces within that bounding box of what it believes are part of that object. We go back to a segmentation model that will now run in this node, and we can, we can select all, but it doesn't, doesn't actually catch all. It, it just actually... Um, still chooses from the input list here. 
I think that's a, a problem with just variables not being reset in the code. I haven't um, haven't looked into it, but if you find anything in the choose list here, any of these are good keywords for input. So if there were things like a dog or a cat in the photo, it should detect those. We can also run this against video. I grabbed some stock video off of uh, Pexels, I believe. And here's a, a cafe, just a camera panning around it. And it, it pretty much gets a lot of the stuff. The painting on the wall or picture, whatever it is, is, is now a TV. And one of them shows up over here as a TV for a moment. Uh, that guy with his cell phone uh, turns into a handbag for a moment, but that's okay. And I don't know what this object is, but it sometimes, with low confidence, thinks it's a chair. Other than that, it, it gets the people, the chairs, the tables, pretty decently. Even on a busy street here, it'll identify the cars separately from buses and things like that. Let's grab this simple and dirty node right here and run it through the city street. Now we're gonna to wanna to do more than 30 frames. Let's uh, take all the frames and let's choose the nano segmentation model and let it run. We now have a segmented video. Seems to detect the cars and even pedestrians crossing the street here. Uh, this little trash can newspaper stand, whatever that is, uh, keeps wanting to identify as a car. But uh, we do see traffic lights. Um, and one that's not actually a traffic light, but that's only popping up with about 26-30%. But lots of people, cell phones, things like that. And for a 10 second video, 30 frames a second, that rendered pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and make our own workflow. We don't need any of the default nodes. We're not going to run a case sampler, nothing like that. Whichever nodes you've installed, go ahead and set a model loader. Let's load a model and apply that model. All right, so we'll use the detection node. We'll still use the uh, version 8N. And let's grab a load picture node. We'll just go ahead and load the same photograph in here. This will export uh, JSON data. Uh, there's two different ways you can do that. And what it, what it will um, export is all of the bounding boxes, so, uh, a bitmap of where the objects are. So let's, just for giggles, let's let that run as detecting all. And it detects nothing. So if we go to input, we don't have a person, cat, or a dog in here. <laughs> Let's uh, put in some things to detect. Chair, TV, clock. And if we set this back to all, it'll still detect those same things. I'm sure they'll fix this in, a, in an update. So we can add laptop, and book. Let's see which models detect that Linksys router as a book. All right, so the Nano did not. Let's try the X model. This is a 130 meg model versus six. 
It also didn't detect it this time. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, I think that was the difference between the segmentation model and the detection model. Let's try that with the segmentation. All right, so yeah, that is now detected as a book. They must have slightly different data sets in there. or, But as you can see, that only took a few seconds to put this together. Uh, these are all open source. They're really, really small. If you look at how they work, there are only a few lines of code for to actually run the model. Running these YOLO models in Python by themselves is pretty simple. Even if you don't have good coding experience, you, you can just grab some files off of something else, modify them to what you need. And you could run this against a list of photos or a video. Uh, some of the models take different arrays of images in and out. Um, if we go back to our test example here, we'll go ahead and save that. The uh, model that's just labeled SEG over here, let's see if we can determine whose that is. That is this one right here. It says ZC Frank first. This particular model will not accept um, arrays of images out in the same fashion that like video combine will take. We need it to go to an image batch. It comes out as an image list. So in order to fix that, um, when we load the video, we actually go to a image batch to image list node. This converts the batch format output to a list. Then each um, frame gets processed independently, so it feeds them one at a time to the SEG node. Then we convert those back to an image batch so that VHS video combined can put those back into a video. However, with the model detect here, which is from the Comfy UI Ultralytics YOLO by uh, Shadow CZ007, that one we do not have to do that. So your mileage may vary with custom nodes. Some of them may come out as a batch, some of them may come out as a list, or your loaders and combiners may be a little bit different as well. So if you're using these types of nodes, keep that in mind. You may have to convert the arrays. Other than that, good luck with the models. Stay safe.